What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So and this is going to be kind of like a video series about putting this uh, 4BT in this Escalade. So follow along and we will show you how it's done. So this thing came to us with the engine and the transmission already mounted in it. Um, but when we went to bolt the bell housing together, we noticed that the engine wouldn't turn over anymore and the transmission wouldn't turn over. So there's obviously a fitment issue going on in there. So we're gonna pull the transmission, pull the engine so we can fit them up on the bench because I don't really feel like making adjustments to stuff and then mounting the transmission in and out seven or eight times. So we've already got the transmission out. So now we're just gonna get the engine out and then we can see what's not lining up and decide what to do from there. All right, so there we go, we got her out. Um, notice a few things that we need to address on here as well. So this oil pan has been notched, but as you can see, the weld is leaking somewhere. So we're probably just gonna pull the whole pan off and weld it up on the bench. The reason it's notched is to make the front axle fit because there's not enough room between the oil pan because the oil pan sticks down quite a bit further. On uh, this, then the six, two that came in it. Uh, but our clearance problem as to why the engine wouldn't turn over, we found that out as well. So we got this nice uh, de-stroked flex plate. This flex plate is supposed to fit all GM transmissions. But we found when it was going down in, it was hitting on the sides of the bell housing right here, there's bolt tabs, or not bolt tabs, but there's like casting that stuck out. So it was hitting there and hitting there. That was one of the problems, but the main problem is that this flex plate does not work with this torque converter. So this convert, this, or yeah. So this flex plate is supposed to work with all GM transmissions but usually it works with a 4L60 transmission. This thing had a 4L80 in it. And the 4L80 torque converter is smaller than the 60, and also the snout on the converter sticks out further than on the 60. So the main thing that was plugging it up was when you put the torque converter on, you can see it bottoms out in this hole here. And there's still, there's still about a quarter inch of room between the converter and the flex plate. And also, where are they? You can see the holes don't line up. You see down there, the holes don't line up because this converter is smaller around than what this flex plate's made for. So there's one hole here, and then the other one is here. I tried to find a flex plate that fits it, but nobody, nobody makes one, so what we're gonna have to do is modify this one. 
uh, we're gonna have to take take this over to a machine shop and get them to basically mill this hole out so the snub will fit down in further and also we'll spin this so the tabs are here in between the holes and drill new holes for the converter bolts. Now, not a huge fan of having to do that, but since this is an SFI flywheel, it should be fine strength wise. And also this thing's probably only gonna be pushing 200, 230 horse, something like that. So roughly 400 foot pounds of torque. And that is what the engines, the stock gasser had in this, um, in this vehicle. So we should be all right with that. Again, it's not my favorite way of doing things, but we're just gonna have to work with it and do, uh, do what we need to do. So then hopefully once we got that and have the flywheel recessed back in all the way, we don't have any more clearance issues in our bell housing because there's not a ton of room there if we do have to clearance something. So let's, uh, let's figure out this flex plate and get the pan off. All right, so we got our pan off. Not exactly what I like to see pulling an oil pan off, but uh, this drain tube has had some welding uh, hit it, or suck pickup tube, sorry. And also, we have a bunch of MIG wire down in the pan. Luckily the engine wasn't fired up at all, so there's, uh, there's no wire that could have got sucked up the tube. Probably wouldn't have got sucked up the pickup tube, but still not that great to have MIG wire down in the bottom of your engine. So we found it was leaking. It's leaking here, here, and over here. So probably gonna just uh, take this and get our MIG, or uh, TIG welded. All right guys, so we got our flex plate dropped off to get uh, made to work, and our oil pan dropped off to get welded up. And that's gonna conclude the first installment of putting 4BT in the, in the uh, Denali. So, Follow along, don't forget to like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and follow us on Instagram to keep up with all the updates on this project and a couple more that we have coming up. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.